Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Please. Thank you. Waiting on one more before we get started. Okay. Here we do. How y'all been? Oh, I'm doing all right. Yeah. I got leveled up. I Woo! think Woo! I will use this one. Did everyone level up? Or? I am yeah, leveled okay. two now. Okay, cool. Did it the... Uh, I think you must have auto-done my hit points. That's the only thing I didn't really You can, observe. If you remember what they were, you're free to roll in front of me. And... I don't remember what they were. <laughs> I don't think you I mean look up like your class? Oh, yeah, it's I mean, it's it's up to... Well, it will have started you at max. Right? First yeah. level is always max. Yeah. So if you want to roll instead... So what would have, I guess... What uh, would be the I thought you did the, the median thing. I did, the, yeah, I did the median, median, median when I did it. So it might... I don't know. I'm at 12, which sounds not I was wrong. Like did well, what's your uh, your constitution? I got nothing bonus on that. Which I assume is like the average-ish. Wizard. Well, it's one over the center. Wizard would have been one D or D6 there is no constitution. number that is the average in integer form. Is it six-sided dice? Six-sided dice should be four. Yeah, Hello. 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 All right, I am going to uh, NPC Connor and Cambria. Okay. They are off getting married in Scotland right now. Indeed. Congratulations. Sorry, say the wedding or just for the. Do you say congratulations? I think the, I think the wedding's Happy next wedding. week. And he was saying, I think he was saying <laughs> one of their parents is in this week. Yeah, her mom. Home. Her mom's What's up, dude? Sitting. I ordered some pizza too, so if anybody wants pizza. Pizza too. I want pizza. So, yeah. so much room. You know what else pizza I want? The motherfucking shot. I was gonna say you want a shot. <laughs> you want a shot. Where's the tequila? I'm, like these two are almost empty. Let me get some tequila from upstairs. Oh, this is tequila. In the head. Oh, it's still head. Wait, That's a this? bad omen. No, this is blue agave vodka. It's not tequila. Agave okay. vodka. There we're talking the trace. Yeah, that's the one I wish you probably kill all these bottles almost at Who's in? I'll take All the motherfuckers. The answer <laughs> is yes. The correct answer is always yes. Uh, the ultra full one will be one E. Thank you. Love the shirt. Oh, thank you. It's an official government issue. My wife got Get out of here. It was the uh, uh, toll collectors for the Florida Turnpike. My wife got it for me one year. Nice. Uh, that's pretty rad. And it's uh, and the fact that she got one that I can wear, it's the right width anyway. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Nothing. Okay, this shot is going to be a hybrid of all three. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it does smell like something can be set on fire. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one. Do you want the suicide one with everything Please, in Please, I have okay. a discerning palate when it comes to liquor. I like to go to um, Abe's and do the ambulance shots there. If you've ever had one, it is, uh, it's like a tumbler glass with tequila in the bottom, and then there's three shot glasses stacked in there. One's vodka, one's fernet, and then oh, I forget Lord. the other one is. But as you pull them out, you know they drop in there, and then you do the whole thing. So. No, that's incorrect. I remember. <laughs> Not there must be a bad memory associated with that one. <laughs> um, I did a, uh, when I worked at Infinity Ward a million years ago, they, uh, they're the, they, there was a bit of a hazing there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were out at the bar for my birthday, and they're like, all right, DJ, you're fucking up. So they got me a stoplight, which is which is three shots in a row. Mm -hmm. And they're like, but we want the, you know, the shot girl to give it to you, so you have to order a, another shot from her. She's got like a, I don't know, some jello shot in a vial thing. 
So there, it's it's a blue, or sorry, it's a green, it's a red, green, a yellow, and then a red shot, mm -hmm. like a mm -hmm. traffic signal. The green is like a Midori Sour, mm -hmm. the yellow is like a screwdriver. Okay. And then the red is 151 in Grenadine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your last shot. Oh, and you gotta you do a back to back. I did four I did four. That and another shot. Hell yeah. I was pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I bet. It'll do it. Yeah. That was righteous. Alright, here we go. Cheers to you guys. To the Frayed Pretorius. Cheers. Episode Cheers. four. Here we go. Uh, we'll see if I remember what voices I was using. Or not. Oh, yeah, that's a. Uh, um, really fighting for dominance in that cup. <laughs> <laughs> they were all tequilas. They were. You had a liquor cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> the world's best bartender. Um, tell me the last name, but not the same parents. Tell me again your mouse's name. I think we've used a different name in various episodes. Oh, I don't think I actually gave it a name because I wasn't sure. You, you mentioned it after, you did. You I, mentioned I, I shot, after your dad. I shot um, something out of his mouth. Let me think of You mentioned Theratazon at one point. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just going through all the Elder Gods then, but that is a cool mouse name. Disrespectful? Maybe. Oh, so, well, let me clarify. Is that, like... So, so as a warlock, you have a patron. Yes. Is Theratazon is your patron, and that is a god? Uh, so Moloch is my patient, patron. Moloch and, uh, is your yeah. I thought you named a mouse. Oh, no. Could be. I think so. Maybe I think sometimes you said Moloch that talks to me through the mouse. mouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about whisper? Okay. I think, there was the <laughs> I think that's what you said, is that he speaks through the mouse, not that he is the mouse. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. So is there a name for your mouse? Yes. You mentioned Theratazon, but so, so Moloch's your patron. Who's Theratazon is? Ah, uh, that was just you know some early stuff I was uh, messing around with. Uh, that was the that was the are book we, are one. Are but we striking that from canon? Uh, yeah, we should, cause uh, okay. once once you gave us free reign to you know kind of make our own sure. stuff. So uh, I was just like these gods aren't good enough. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as as a god, the name of one of the gods of this world. We but can work it. <laughs> Uh, what's your mouse's name? It's Squiggles. Oh, okay. And we have a new mini for Squiggles. Woohoo! <laughs> Stay away from him, Mr. Peepers. For the <laughs> magic <laughs> items. Guys. Yeah, I'm excited for this interplay between the <laughs> owl and the mouse. <laughs> uh, whatever, you know, Mr. Peepers is his own thing. Uh, what was his name again? Squiggles? Squiggles. It's uh, S Q U I G G L E S. Okay. All right. For the uh, magical items we all got, like my ring, ring for example, um, what is the modifier for that? Yeah, I wrote Ooh, down cool. what they actually are. Let me look to my notes. Give me a moment. Uh, so. I know something about unmovable, like I couldn't be forcefully teleported. I don't mind. Yeah, that. you, you, can, you can hold the door in front of everyone. Just block the door with your body. Do you use that to like hold up like a ton of weight if you can't be moved? Like well, it, was, it, it depends on the definition of what can't be moved is. Because part of the description was well, you can't be teleported. But if I'm like in a movable rod belt, that might be kind of cool. That does sound pretty fucking cool. But I don't know. Okay. So here. I gave him like more. Give me a sec. The only thing I wrote down was prevents people from moving or displacing. I also think I'm going to go with the, the order of the scribe for my wizard. Okay. Do you, it, do you is, do? It, is it second level that you go with the subclass? Mm -hmm. You yeah. do seem pretty serious. So what did you pick? Order of the scribe. Okay. What, which one are you going with? Um, I did divination. Yeah. Okay. I figured I wanted to go with the jack of all trades and plagiarizing as much as I can. <laughs> so I'll have to check the uh, the footage for for specifics. I, my notes are that your ring helps with evasion. Yeah, like, I just like you're, you're, a little, modifier you're a little blurry. Ooh. Uh, not not 
dexterity, but you'll improve your armor class by one. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's right. I have to do that. Now, how do we activate these? They're always active. Right? Are they always active? Uh-huh. Well, oh. yeah, you could create like a so custom just, item in so D&D Beyond if you wanted to. Well, well, yours is, is very specific. Yeah, mine's is, mine's is haste. It's yeah. like the haste spell. Yeah. Um, I, I want to give it a little flavor beyond mm-hmm. like standard. Like I cast haste now. Um, it all of these are supposed to be defensive in nature. Mm-hmm. So so I I think whenever someone comes at you in combat, like boom, it like it turns on. Oh okay. So if you're ever attacked, it like it happens. And do I got that lag where you can't move? <laughs> you have to turn on your shield. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to recap, let me make sure we're recording real quick. Where's Bag Lady? Bag Lady. Ah. Uh, Birdie? Birdie, Birdie. sorry. Ah, she Birdie. lost some weight. Yeah. All right, so let's get I this hope when her back looks bigger, though. This <laughs> is where she keeps all her stuff. We've got Mago. We've got Severin. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Morgana and Reese. Uh, I'm going to kind of sort you in where you usually sit. Uh, we've got Ord, mm-hmm. Empty, and Sin. So to recap where we last left off, um, Armageddon happened, the moon got blown through, meteors pummeling the earth, armies descending on your position, you go through a gate. You wind up 12,000 years later in a marshy swamp and uh, more come through the portal. A, a demonic creature and a protector, one from the the entropic order, and you guys dispatch the, the demonic thing pretty quickly. Um, and a little fox guy named Severin uh, sort of becomes your guide. He finds you after this, this combat and starts guiding you through the swamps. And assuming that you guys need some rest, he's he tells you the closest place is the Creep Maiden Village, but he gives you a bit of a dire warning about uh, trusting them, about there may be a cost to this, but, but you all need some sleep. And... You guys made it through. Um, there was a bridge. A little toll was to be paid, which you paid with a, a very precious <laughs> item. It wasn't that precious. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you eventually make it to to Birdie uh, on the outskirts of the Creek Main Village. After um, finding an illusion that turned out to be real, that we cast ourselves. Yes. We. Uh, Reese's ex fiance. <laughs> Uh, he, cr- he created an illusion and she came to life and accosted you all. Um, there's tentacles. Uh, one, a tentacle was harvested by sin. <laughs> uh, and you feel it wiggling and you notice that it is growing. That could be fun. What the heck? <laughs> it's just getting like, you can see like a little more material is adding to the severed. Can I stab it? <laughs> you like my... you fucking popsicle this thing on yeah. your dagger? Okay, and you just kind of on my pike. <clears throat> yeah, and, and you see it kind of like like it's it shudders for a moment, and and then then it kind of like settles into whatever this new life is, it is that it's leaving living, and it's just kind of slowly writhing, gently. Um. And Birdie says to you guys, what the fuck accent was I using for Birdie? I don't, I don't know. Remember. Old lady I'm not sure she barely even got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> she, she said like two words, is like, you're not welcome here, get out, or something to the demon so, guy. Yeah, yeah, you, you, a a, a demon yeah. came, he, he stated it like he's found you, it's your time. He came up through a, a fucking lava portal in the ground kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You you mauled the shit out of him. Yeah, I did. And then boom, his body like goes back through this this portal. Well, now that that is that, let's get you to town, shall we? And she like she's got a little cane too, and she starts like 
like walking off kind of you know strange um, what? gait. What? I want mean, to take a look at all the like stuff that she has on her. What, what can we kind of see? Oh my God! There are all kinds of things. There are there are charms. There are what looks like little voodoo dolls. There are there's a like kind of a, a major like backpack that looks like she's a hump hunchback almost from this like big old backpack. It's just stuff with God knows what. And there's all there, there's like leather ties and little ribbons coming off of it everywhere each holding another little trinket. There's little bell. She makes all kinds of noise. Ding, 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 ding. As she's uh, waddling towards town. There's, you notice um, the hilt of a sword, a shot glass, what might be a baby's withered head. You're not sure. There's a tiny little ax about this big. And everything is, like, peculiarly sized. Nothing is, like, the normal size that you would expect. Some things are tiny, and some things are oversized. There's, like, a fork that's, that's about this big, like, in her, like, belt come sticking out the back. There's a little tiny cauldron dangling. There's a bouquet of flowers... Um, it's all sorts of assorted things. Well, she so, seems trustworthy. So so I'm gonna peculiar. walk up beside her. So, so Bertie, I've I've seen and studied many things, but I can't seem to find a pattern with your collection. Can you help me understand what it is that you're seeking? Because you found a lot of it. Oh, I'm so glad that you asked. <laughs> and she turns and she like pulls one off. And, like, the ribbon that was tying this to her, like, kind of dissipates into this pixie dust, and then she's just holding it. That's cool. It's, like, a little carved figurine of a toad, and and you you, you see, like, Severin kind of, like, lean back and raise an eyebrow and (laughs) take a big old hit off his pipe. This is... Some of the denizens of the swamp. We've had tiny idols made for them. And and she like starts to put it back and like a, a, a ribbon kind of like extrudes itself from air and, and dust and like like wraps itself and then it goes dangling again. And she grabs another one. This tiny little knife. Um This was given to me by a friend. There are so many friends in town. <laughs> this one was by Tella. They gave me a, this tiny knife, and they used it to kill their mother. Wow. And it's very meaningful to me. And then she okay. puts it down. And and she just kind of keeps going for a while. Uh, she's got a little uh, skull of a rat. She has... Um, she pulls out. There's, there's a there's a there's a little sheath on her side mm-hmm. that is about that deep, but about the same width. Okay. With with a little hilt, and she like grabs it with two little fingers and like pulls out this massive like broadsword from this little sheath that it wouldn't fit in. This is an interesting one. I found this in the mud. I like that one. What is it? Oh, it's just a sword. That's not no regular sword. (laughs) No, that's why I like it so much. So you just look for the peculiar? I am a collector of everything. Mm. Do you have anything for my collection? No, we just got here. (laughs) Well, we'll see about that. I bet you do. Mm-hmm. While we're walking, I'll think through what's in my bag. Okay. I'll need something for you, Bertie. Um, and as you're walking, too, you, you notice, like, things kind of sprinkled around the ground, too. There's, like, there's a coin right there. And there's a little t- 
tiny like fork about that big, like right over there. They're just falling off of her, or appearing as we're walking. They just appear to be on the ground, and you look around, and it's kind. Of, there's like there's a couple of arrowheads, onyx arrowheads, that are kind of rough carved. Well, I'm grabbing that coin. I uh, friends, I don't know if they they might take offense to us picking up their objects. What, oh, it's we can't have our own collection? Here. Of course you can't take oh. anything you want. Listen, if we, if we take it, we, we, like, we're not going to get in trouble, are we? No, of course not. I don't trust the way you, you said that. These, this is a lot of stuff. Where do these things come from? Well, they come from all over. Okay. It takes a lot of time and space collect so many things, what would you say? Well, well, you, yes, but like, the ground is riddled with all kinds of weird, unusual things. Where do they come from? They come from all over the world. And they just appear here? No, no. I mean, sometimes they're dropped. Sometimes they just show up. It's confusing, isn't it? Um, I've been confused since I got here. <laughs> <laughs> so have I. How long have you been here? Because we just got here. About 217 years, three days, and five months. Wow. And 17 minutes. Okay. Wow. And 12 seconds. Okay, that's very Where specific. Where were you before that? And eight microseconds. <laughs> <laughs> and two nanoseconds. I'm not going to remember all that. I got 217 years and five months, Bertie. <laughs> It's a ballpark. <laughs> it's a fair estimate. But who's counting, right? Were you born here? Oh no. It's it's the place I call home now. I would think so after two hundred and seventy it's, years. It's an interesting place to live. There's lots of activity and trading and and, and feasts and balls. And there's so much to do. Speaking of activities, is it a usual occurrence for demons to assault you and your companions? Oh my god, how could I forget? And she looks around. You need protection. Yes. That's what you said when the demon showed up, but... And Severin pipes in. Yeah, they do. We're, we're in a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> you need protection now. You're being hunted, aren't you? Why are we being hunted? We what didn't if, do anything. What have you brought to my doorstep? Um, well, Nothing but the most company. interesting <laughs> trinkets of all. I'm like, well, my name's Sin. Uh, this is my sister, Empty. Melon, right? <laughs> Not again. Close enough. Ord. Morgana and Reese. We're just a party of humbly, hum, <laughs> of humbly humble travelers. Definitely name that one. Yeah. I can't imagine a group of humbly humble travelers would be being hunted by the followers of Ko. The followers of who? Who? The followers of Ko. Ko? Who's this Ko fellow? I've never heard of him. And how do you spell Ko? K-O. Oh. He's... He's the Leviathan. Look, his constellation is right there. And Morgana starts to like furiously like scribble notes and draw diagrams, and she's like plotting the stars. I don't remember reading about that constellation. Was it there before, Morgana? What do you mean there before? Mm-hmm. The constellation before. I don't know. I'm just not particularly good at stars. Last time I read the book, a before book it was what? Last time I read a book about the constellations, it wasn't in there. It wasn't in there! So Mr. Mr. Peepers chimes in. Or at least I forgot about it. So Mr. Peepers, who hasn't said anything yet, riding on my shoulder, chimes in and says, They're actors. They're actors, and we're a troop. And you can tell by the way they're dressed. They're, They're in period garb. They have a play about the Armageddon. And, you know, that's their thing. And he's in character. He, you know, come with yeah. It's ancient history. It is, but people pay to see it. It's always good to remember history. Oh, could we give you the stage? Have you indulge us 
in a performance. We've been through many trials and tribulations. I would like a night's rest you before we... You some rest dinner. first. Of course. I mean, I mean of course. Is there anything we can stay at? We perform for free. Is there something we get as form of payment? You did mention well, protection. We are going to need protection. And it is not free. But I had another form of payment in mind. Like? Let's talk So we should just pick up some of these trinkets, right? Uh, and with that, we're going to take a brief intermission. I think, the pe- I think the pizza has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> she said you could, but I don't know if these are the sort of people we want to indebt ourselves to. I want to make sure that when we're paying somebody something, it's actually the right person. As we're walking, I want to like walk with the spike, but the with the pike, but the end with the the tentacle. Yeah. It's facing the ground, so I'm. <laughs> oh, you're, you're just like you're just like <laughs> stabbing it in. No squishy stuff. And, and it just like <laughs> zero, it just like punctures right through like the arm, the tentacle. All right, let's get some pizza. So you uh, sprouted a tentacle. That's what. Uh-huh. You, you have a tentacle. Well, no, I she cut it, it off of. I took it, cut it off the, the creep illusion of man. Reese's. Uh, not the creep maiden. Reese's. The, no, I said the creep. Yeah. The called it a thing. creep maiden. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When you X up, she can, you know. I almost blew her brain. Send pizza down. Huh? I'll be right back. Thank you. I almost blew her cover. It's quick thinking. It's like, you shut up already. You blew her cover to this. I thought I was just playing with forgot. So basically, we know that Mago is going to blow our cover. Well, I don't usually time. hang around these earthy types, you know, actors and the such. Earthy. <laughs> what do I say? I'm more bookish rather than street smart. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not quite used to hanging out with simple folk. What can I say? Simple folk. Don't you steal books from the library? I Books merely liberate teach you them. Everything, you know? <laughs> I merely liberate them to further. N- I liberate knowledge. people's pockets, so we're both liberators. <laughs> so I guess we're just a whole group of freedom fighters. Is that what we're, <laughs> so we're saying now? It's just the, the question of what are we freeing? In so many words, I guess. No masters. No library checkout cards. <laughs> Or just a whole squad of libertarians. We need to pull like a book heist at some point, breaking into a high security library, and steal their book. I'm gonna have minor illusions. So of course we do like the switcheroo thing, like the guard bursts into the high security vault, but the book's still there. He's like, I thought I heard something. The book's still there. And then you know, we had just leave the building, and then he turns back around to check one more time. And the book fades away. Went too far. The book was never there. Well, I'm a little concerned about the high magic world we're in. You know, lots of things not going as expected. Well, I chose black on people by blotting out all of their books. tentacle was moving around. Yeah. And it was looking like it was growing something. Yeah, it's like regenerating or something. And from what I was reading, one of the specific limits is significant. I want to go play generalist. Yeah. I was reading about like what people liked and a lot of people seem to like divination. <laughs> That's definitely what I was talking about. So I'm picking it. Yeah. I don't think they know what they're walking over. 
kind of want to grab something, but at the same time, I don't want to pay you no price for anything. I'm going to hold on to this coin. I think they just are making things up. <laughs> I want one of the Onyx um, arrowheads. I think I might grab one of those. Say that they re-roll it or no? Or so you in the morning. Yes, in the morning it, it started every day. You roll two dice. Okay. And you, that was the only two dice you got. I got a seven and a seventeen. Right. Today. So you're you're trying to figure out which one you want to use. Seven would be great to replace the monster roll. Yeah. Or if there's a critical saving throw, you save seventeen. Or you know, when we did that one one shot, it was I had a twenty save, and that twenty turned the tide of the entire the map. Yeah. <laughs> Because I had saved it up. Awesome. Yeah, I think, well, I mean, I'm still not I've been playing this guy like chess. Usually, if you smooth. Uh, this is the first game that I'll beat him in. So, this is like where we're at now. It's his move. I just put him in check. Okay. I'm pretty sure his only way out is to put his knight right there. Nice. Which once he does, I'll take it with my queen. All of them choose like hard spells. It'd be checkmate. Hell yeah. It's so, been a long time coming. Like he always like sets that. So like you only have to make a move every seven days, but you know, like playing spurts. I think it's like because he works during the day. <laughs> At least they give y'all seven days. It, yeah. Well, you know the games I learned the most from were like the ones that you play in like five minutes because it's just like so frantic that you're just like, oh god, like what do I do? Not so frantic. I don't know. I don't like waiting too many days for people to take their turn. Yeah. So, I get that. My, uh, so I have four brothers, and like growing up, um, my oldest brother, Michael, he loved playing chess. And it was no one ever wanted to play with him because like he would just like sit there for like an hour. Like he's really good, mind you, at it, but it takes forever to make his move. So it's just like, ah, uh, like what? Yeah, that sounds like that would get annoying oh, yeah. <laughs> real fast. Like, I would love to play with you. I would. <laughs> but you take too long, my boy. Like, <laughs> snap to it. Snap to it. Because if you go to one of those chess tournaments, uh -uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no time for that. Yeah. yeah. They, they ain't got time for that. I always learned of the clock, which is like, you know, a great tool, because like, um, chess clocks especially, you know, when your time's not running, your opponent is, so, mm. the pressure's on. Yes. I just, I don't know, I just, my brain just could not, me and chess, I'm like, okay, this, the horsey does what? It does the L, ain't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm like... I just be looking at the board and my brain just goes blank and it's Oh, like, yeah, it's too much. It's like a blank canvas and you're just like, man, like, tell me I can do all of this and I got to pick out, like, one thing. Yeah, like, Yeah, and the queen can move wherever she wants. I'm like, mm. So it don't matter if they take your king, but... But somehow the king's the most important piece. I don't... Wow. But he can only move... Like yeah. one, one, one easy square at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. That is not making any sense. But I love watching stuff where people are playing chess, and I'm like, oh, God, I wish I understood what was going on. Do you uh, do you game at all? Like uh, Xbox, PC. I PS5. have a, I have an Xbox. I wish, I really want to make my own PC. I, I really want my PC, but I don't have the space for a PC. Like, I literally have nowhere to put a PC. Uh, where, where are you living? I live with my mom and my brother, uh, <laughs> so there's yeah. like there's nowhere for a P yeah, for my own like PC. Yeah, it does take a lot of space. I I recently built my own. Ooh. It was a it was a labor of love. It really was. You know that part was like almost more fun than like having the thing because uh, it's just yeah. So like, so what do you, what do we got? What did you build? Uh, How many monitors? 
Oh, just one monitor. Because, oh. yeah, so, I mean, come on, we only got one set of eyes. Like. I don't know. <laughs> I worked at a call center and I had two monitors and I was like, <gasps> oh yeah, no, if I'm, if I was like doing work and like referencing, but so I use it like strictly for gaming. So the monitors, um, it's a curved one. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, I play a lot of, um, a lot of like, uh, FPSs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so your, your focal points like always like fixed in one position. Yeah. So you're not really like, I don't need to reference like a whole bunch of other, you know, information, but yeah, at like, um, at work. Like almost everywhere I've worked, except this current job, I've always had like multiple monitors. But that's just because like you put stuff up there, or like you know security cameras that you're watching or whatnot, and you're just like, okay, that can sit there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but yeah, that can sit there. I'm, I'm not concerned with that. This, but no, like uh, I use, I try, I, use, I like first person shooters, but my only thing I get because I'll just tell them a friend about them, I just. Like, I'll play, but I get caught on when you have to move the camera around manually. And mm. it just, like, that trips me up so bad. Because it's like, Jen, what are you doing? I'm, like, I'm trying to figure out this fucking camera. <laughs> like, I would have beat this guy so much sooner, but this fucking camera. Because like, I have to do it myself. And it's just, I'm going right, and the camera's still over here. Right, right? yeah, because, oh you know, the, yeah, they, I mean, yeah, your head's, you know, you know, doing one thing while your body's doing another. Why would Dum Dum decided on this? I'm like, baby, no, I that's like care. real life. That's like, you know, you're like walking around and looking at things. But... No, in real life, when I'm looking, whatever way I'm looking, <laughs> my mental camera goes with me. I'm <laughs> like, it doesn't, I'm looking this way, but the camera's still over here. <laughs> that's fair enough. Right. Fair that's what I'm talking enough. about. It's like, I don't care if the enemy behind me, as long as he's behind me, I like I can turn around real quick and be like, "How far away is he?" Right, because I mean, you would like naturally turn to go do exactly. that. Yeah, I guess like yeah, putting the function of our bodies into you know like a Xbox controller exactly. just doesn't yeah carry over well. Or, or give me that little the the the, the little map from. Grand Theft Auto that tells oh, you Oh, yeah, where, where it turns is. with you? Yeah. yeah, that's, like, the best function. Like. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, like, give me that. Like, but not make me control the camera. And, because, like, I was saying, like, I loved playing Red Dead Redemption. Like, uh, I said, but that camera. He was like, yeah, but you have that thing where you can slow down time. I'm like, yeah, but that's not all the fucking time. And if I'm doing some stupid-ass mission, like, look for certain fucking flowers, mm -hmm. that gets annoying. Oh, yeah. Especially when my horse runs off a cliff. Yeah, because, yeah, you're looking here and then, whoop. <laughs> oh, man, that is, yeah. DJ, that is such a badass shirt. Guns N' Roses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love it. Fuck yeah. Mm. <laughs> Don't die, TJ. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough shot. Oh my god. You don't have enough shot. <laughs> so much alcohol over there. Help. 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 Not help, help. <laughs> I need more shot. Two shots? Well, I just did one, so this is number two. Okay. All right, let's do this, motherfuckers. No, I'm ready. I want to see what happens with this tentacle. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, he took a coin, like, I don't know if, like, that was canon, I was like, but, you said it was like the little onyx arrowheads on the ground? Uh-huh. I definitely would have grabbed one of those. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that would be How many supplemental materials do they have for 5e? <laughs> so... So, <laughs> all of the okay. Oh, so those two sections are five E. On the right is adventures. On the left is supplements or accessories. Okay, so they're not that far along yet. So there's more adventures than there are accessories. And occasionally, an adventure will add like one or two very small rules. Yeah, or like a new item or something like oh, that. Oh, totally yeah. items. Oh, items. Totally items. items. New oh, items, items. New monsters. Uh, sometimes new spells. Yeah. yeah. 
Yep. Mm. So as you guys continue walking towards her town, uh, you are ascending. And it's still somewhere between marshy and foresty. It's still a little wet and gushy and damp. Like, you wouldn't want to sleep here. You're going to be fucking miserable. Mm-hmm. Um, but but there's not so much, like, straight-up water and mud that you're going through anymore. The ground is more or less firm. Um, and as you guys are ascending the hill, Severin... He's standing next to you, Ord. Okay. And he says, I don't know about this. I'm getting I'm getting a bad feeling. W- worse than the demon then we killed? I mean, no, that was pretty bad, but... <gasps> I mean, if, it, if that's the worst we have to deal with until morning... Yeah, okay. excuse me, I thought, I thought you knew these people. I mean, I know... This is where they are. I've never stayed in their town before, and I've been warned about their... Wait, wait. Are they all like Birdie? I think so. No. Why don't you walk with that and see? I only know Birdie. I haven't met the others. How come you've never told us about your collection? My collection? All this shit. Mr. Jingle Jingle's here with all your stuff. Yeah. Ah, what would you like to know? Are these all uh, protection wards like we're supposed to have? Mostly, yeah. Various forms and kinds. This all protects you? It's necessary. People could charm you. People could... uh, Everyone give me a wisdom saving throw. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm going to give an example. (laughs) (laughs) Five. Oh, five. No matter what my plus is, that's probably not going to work. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ten. Okay, I'm going to roll for these other two. One. Yeah, I got four. Yeah. And a two. Oh. <laughs> We're a bunch of bumpkins from a couple thousand years ago. We're not ready for that. <laughs> you, you get the sense that Severin's being a little paranoid. Um, like a magic hypochondriac. <laughs> and Bertie chimes in again. Well, I suppose it can't wait. We need to get you protected now, or we will have more hunters on your heels. I'm surprised they haven't arrived already. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just hold up the pipe with the tentacle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> Yo, oh, you're ready, are you? <laughs> you look so. So can you, Bertie, can you... S- I'm, we're, we're, I'm really confused how this works. Can you see or sense whatever it is they're hunting on us? Well, a follower of Ko doesn't just show up out of nowhere. I mean, did I step in something? What it, what it, well, we did give that really bad show. Mm. Why are you being hunted? Do you have any idea? Not a clue. Not a clue, huh? And you all cut. You get the impression that she's on your side, that like she's genuinely interested in sorting you out. I'm just she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I did have faith in our uh, reptile friend, uh, and I was right because he did lead us around the the devils and demons. I just want to throw that out there. I'm getting good vibes from this lovely lady. Lovely. Birdie, if we were, if, clearly we are, not if, since we're being hunted, where should we go next after your town that you're going to let us sleep in? Will we be safe in your town? Where should you go next? I haven't thought of that. Interesting question. I've never been hunted by a demon before, so I... That sounds like a tomorrow problem. <laughs> I think we have more of a right now problem. We I thought it was right safe now. in the old town. Let us get you something. Protection? <laughs> helpful. And she reaches into her bag and she hands you a little tiny 
mouse skull. And she hands Morgana a little hawk skull. She hands Reese a little method skull. Method? Method, yeah. She hands you uh, a Bordal skull. Bordal skull. Mm-hmm. Sin is handed the skull of a little uh, weasel. <laughs> <laughs> and Ord gets the skull of um, a snake. Mm, okay. What is a board? <laughs> it's an invented creature that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have it encountered yet. Yeah, it exists. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's it's kind of uh, mammalian, um, but like its its eyes are a little larger, and its and its 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 snout is very compact, oh God, and it's got a very like round little head. Seen it now. It's <laughs> terrifying. But I, 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 I trust that, that you are accepting these gifts. That the price that I ask will be paid. What is this price? What is for? this? What is this price? I only want you to do me a minor favor. What is? How minor? Something tiny. I accept. Tiny like this go? <laughs> Tiny you like mouse go? I need you to kill the creep mistress. Oh, okay, yeah. And I, put it, I just put it in my pocket. I gotta kill somebody? Of course. It's just, it's just a simple favor. You say... It's meaningless. Um, I, I'm not the smartest. Is this but or I could leave you here in the marsh to be hunted by the followers of Ko. Hmm. I think I'd be fine with the rest of you. So is this just Might like the, the the bully of the town? Wait, what are these tiny skulls? More like the do? imbecile of the town. Okay, <laughs> the imbecile of the town, but at the moment is you've handed us little skulls that we have no idea what they do. That's supposed to equal this exchange? I think you are coming on top of this trade. And do I exactly do that? Like, like there's magic in the skull. S- S- Severin, where's your skull? What what do you got? You got a badger or a bunny rabbit? What do you got? He lifts up a little badger skull, like wrapped <laughs> around his neck. So is, this is legit. She's then. she's not wrong. Yeah, it. He found you, and he didn't find me. He found you, and I have one. You need this. To prevent your location from being detected, your mind from being entered. Okay. So we show up in a new place and we're already a hit spot. But I think the price is too high to pay. Birdie, is there anything you can... They, they offered to put on a performance for you. I mean, it could be a big finish. It is a paltry return on my investment. It's a simple favor. Okay, so you're a creek maiden, and she's a creek mistress. That's what these fuckers call me. And she points to Severin. Creep maiden. Okay, so... Um, what do you call we, them? Okay, so... Uh, if you're not the creep... Just call him by his fucking name. Hmm? Severin. Oh. And Burley. It sounds like the creep mistress would be the head of their little town. Yeah. And Severin... Uh, it's actually Burley, not Burley. Whatever. Burly? What? She called the frog Burly, and oh. Severin corrected her. It's, it's Burry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Burry. Okay, okay um, so, um, so I'm guessing this mistress is higher than a maiden. Yes, of course. She's... Over everybody? You could say that. So you want us to kill your boss? Mm. If you wouldn't mind. And in exchange, we get these little protection things. So that you don't die. And why couldn't we get some sort of protection tokens or charms from this mistress? Hmm. What will the other denizens of your town 
think of this current <laughs> regime. Oh, regime yeah, change. Fault. <laughs> Although, an entire faction will be on your side. For if the summoning is to be completed, it will not be through the wiles of the creep mistress. Summoning? Who are you summoning? <laughs> well. <clears throat> She's left in charge. We won't be summoning anything. Okay. So she's a failure. Uh, she's an imbecile. So she's been trying to finish this summoning for a while and failed. No, in two days is the Solstice Festival. Oh, we know all about oh, Solstice shit, Festivals. Yeah. Bad stuff happens. Bad stuff happens. It's the most wondrous time of the year. Period. People, you know. Ah, yes, yeah. your performance. Yes. yes. I hope you do perform. For I don't know. In addition to the favor. Okay, we're gonna asking. need we're, not, we're gonna need something else for that favor because we don't perform for free. Okay. We'll negotiate at your rate. <laughs> and what is this summoning? The summoning with a greer run is to be summoned. Is that like a sounds nice? What is that? What is that? The Greer The Greer Oh, just wait and see. <laughs> I won't spoil the surprise. Is is Severn responding at all? He's just he's just fucking chain pulling off this fucking pipe. And, and Burley's like blum 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 and they're like they're like looking at each other like this is oh my god. He's like this is a bad scene. We got to get out of here. I don't know. We've got to pull the plug on this operation. <laughs> we don't know where the hell we're at. We, we don't know. I don't where know where enough about the local know where politics. To go. It is so my duty. It is the duty of the coalesced servitors Fuck. to ensure that the summoning is completed. The coalesced summoners? That's right. And the creep mistress will never perform her function. How did she get in this position if she's so incompetent? I ask myself the same question every day. She selected. Uh, how, voting, how long has she been the creep born mistress? Born into it for many years. There's not really voting. She killed the previous creep mistress. That's what I was wondering. So you want us to so kill her? And you come in for those for the final blow, so you... Now you get where we're going mistress? with this, don't you? So you want to be the new creep mistress? Not necessarily me, but at least one of the coalesced servitors. So, so is, this a, is this a matriarchy, then? They're going to creep... In a way. <laughs> That's creep maidens. I need to understand the rules here, because if no, Sin... No, if the Sin gives the final, final blow... Oh, isn't that exciting? Then I could be the ruler. Of Could the you thing? summon the Greyadrun? Do you know the ritual is an incantation? She's got the guns. I, I mean, yes. She yes, has big guns. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I taught you. Might I challenge you? Challenge me to a fight? To an arm wrestle. Uh, you got this, sis. I might you lose. This. You got this. You got this. I don't know. She looks. She looks like. I'll she's... tell you what. Whatever the cost for your performance that you ask. If you win, I will double it. You got this. I mean, I, I appreciate your faith. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, we're gonna get paid anyway, but to get paid properly, to get paid double. So, I like uh, it. All right, you look you look strong, so I think it'll be an unfair <laughs> fight. <laughs> I'm giddy with excitement. So do this, uh, Let it do this in the morning? Let's do it right now. <laughs> Reese, she gets down she, on her front. Reese, she could, you know, use some, in, you know, you, give, so, give her a pep song inspir- or something. Yeah. <laughs> we get some bardic inspiration going. Well, his bardic inspiration comes in the form of liquid courage. So he's got a tiny little <laughs> barrel, like like this big, a little twice. distillery barrel. He's it's got like two little. of them. One's, one's ale and it's one's... thousands of years old. And he, and he puts a little shot glass under it, and he pops it back, and he hands it over to you. So you get the D6 inspiration? Is there yeah. a D6? Uh, I'm going to yeah. get, given that we just did a shot in game. <laughs> we did. If anyone would like to join I will please. definitely take that shot. 
I'm like, you actually have I'm to, like, yeah. I'm like, None of y'all got guidance. <laughs> A little teeny mini since um, it was happening. I got that around. Well, I don't want to. Uh, I, ref I refuse to believe that she. <laughs> I was trying to wait One till the morning I and then I could help her. Is never uh, underestimate your opponent. But I haven't taken a rest yet. Whoop. That was perfect. Same thing. I need to rest. I can't rest. Here. Oh wow, that was more than perfect. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> it's like perfect. Mr. Eric, on. Uh, perfectly on that. the rim. And and Bertie materializes a little shot glass from her, and she puts it over here under her armpit, and it fills with something. Here we go. Uh, give me a 20, d20 out of your strength, boys. Mm. And I got inspiration? You can roll in an extra you got six to Did anyone inspiration her? Well, that's what we're saying he did. Yeah. That's why I was trying to get... Oh, oh. bardic inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So d6 bardic inspiration. Oh. Nat 20. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> So what's your, what's your strength bonus? Uh, a plus three. And oh, man. And the bardic inspiration... Uh, so 27. Oh, shit, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go both prone on the ground. And and it's gross. It, like, it, it's it's not, like, wet ground, but the minute you touch it, like, your whole front is just saturated. And, and you're face-to-face -face with her gigantic head and her massive black eyes. Mm -hmm. And she puts up her arm... <laughs> you know, you from, uh, what's that predator when they just clasp hands? <laughs> and she starts to push you back. And you, you get it, you're just holding and you give it to her. And she starts to push more. And she's turning it. And you see more arms sprout out of her body. <laughs> <laughs> just to like get extra purchase on the ground around her. <laughs> And the second arm, she's fucking cheating, like grabs her hand and starts pushing it, and you just fucking bend your hand back and you walk. And you just fucking, boom, and you slam it down. <laughs> I lean forward and I give her a kiss on her cheek. <laughs> My child, aren't you a strong one? I think I am. Present for that. I like presents. <laughs> Is there anything you have in mind? What could your imagination conjure? Mm. Oh. Huh? Clothes to fit in. We don't fit in. Oh, we. Me and my compatriots could use some clothes to fit in. Just you. you. Oh, just Not for them. me. They oh. would need to challenge me for their own special. Oh. Mm. Well, I ain't got <laughs> get my mother's marble back. I don't think I can get your mother's marble back. Just please. Is it possible for me to get my brother's mother's marble back? Anything your mind imagines. And she produces it. I'll get better at picking pockets. <laughs> There's a sad troll somewhere. He just lost his... <laughs> How's he, he going to way back there? <laughs> <laughs> just hearing that, I'm like, I don't regret what I just did. <laughs> that was so worth it. <laughs> I told you you could do it. You know what? Your faith in me. We forgot to get you prone. Mm -hmm. Nice. That was funny. <laughs> and she like, she uses her like fucking eight arms now to like get herself up off the ground. Does any can anybody do anything about <laughs> dirty I am? Nobody have I have a uh, flask of water. Um, Reese has prestidigitation. He can clean it up. What do we call him? Prestidigitation in this world. I don't think he gave it to me. I don't think he did give it. Oh, it was something crazy. It was even harder to say. Um, we'll have to check those. We'll have to go to the tapes. <laughs> yeah. It was like twice as many syllables. <laughs> <laughs> 
Holy Master Wadahana. Angela <laughs> Floritology, I don't know. He just kind of like waves his hand at you, like, oh, all of this is so oh my zinc. And Eden, you're dried again. Thank you for that. <laughs> and Birdie, oh, do that to me too, please. <laughs> and he does it to her too. She's good. Does she, with all the stuff, does she really come clean? And, and Reese pours one for himself. Okay. She just keeps walking. I thought you said that more than it mattered. How about we just have a good night's rest and then we can discuss this possible regime regime change tomorrow. Regime change? What a fun phrase. (laughs) And I can try to steal it. That was for It worked out a little opposite there. It it did. It did. Perhaps tomorrow in the morning. You should, you know. Just we can discuss yeah. more of the political details of your town and how we might go about what would you have for? getting rid of this problem for you. More strength. <laughs> of course. I, always want to be, I, I always mean, we have two days to do this, right? Two days until the ritual? Well, I'm well, thinking arms. tomorrow. I don't know. Tomorrow is <laughs> These people, they're just going to be magnificent. Tomorrow is the Celestum. The what? Where she and her flock are prepared for the summer. She will be served by handmaidens, dressed, and gifts from neighboring villages will be delivered for all to be sacrificed. You can gain audience with her then. It's the perfect time. We won't be run out of how, town. How many of really the coalesced will be there? The coalesced servitors, eight. There are eight of us. Mm. So you're one of eight, she's the leader? She's the creep mistress, yes, and she also has eight. And uh, what's her special okay, group so the of groups are eight. maidens called? Pardon? She's the leader of a group of eight, and what's her little guild called? The Celester? They are. Mm-hmm. But she's the mistress, mm-hmm. and they are maidens. The mistress. And we are all creep maidens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Super maidens, if you will. <laughs> they are the, the creep mistress's servitors. Okay. So well, it kind of sounds like you are the outsiders here. I was doing it. Isn't everyone an pool? outsider? Well, most definitely yes. <laughs> so, are we about to do this? I mean, I don't got no problem. I, I don't know her. I don't. I don't care. I could use first, snooze. first we rest. We gotta rest. Oh, uh, Birdie, uh, do you know what's going on with this? And I show her the tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that? T- and she like, <laughs> she like bites the tip off of it. That was my prize. I Can killed that. Mm-hmm. Get a girl back. Ew. It's rubbery. Rubbery? Yeah, and slightly ethereal. Notes of Vastral. Charger for that light. Charger. Ooh. A tinge of demonic. She owes. Hey, that was mine. Oh, I only took the tip. It'll regenerate. It already is. Look. (laughs) And the tip forms again. So is this going to grow into, like, another... What was that thing? And it's about, like, a third... As long as it was when you cut it off. She said ethereal and a touch. Ethereal, ethereal astral, astral, and demonic. And demonic. Okay. Well, like, if it, if it grows you... to the point that it starts growing a back, for which you had <laughs> cut it off of before, <laughs> then we're... There's a, there's a back and other ones start coming out. Then it's we'll... literally impaled on the sp- pointy <laughs> end of a... Spike. And it's kind and of it's like still growing. It's growing like down your spike. It's yeah. It's it's impaling itself more. I'm like, you still owe me something for that little bite. You, Consent. <laughs> you are a strong negotiator. Yes, I will give you something. What would you like? Uh, I want a trinket. Strength. Oh yeah, something for strength. Something for strength. Yes. See what I have. And she reaches 
her like eight arms start like reaching into bags and pulling out them. stuff and, and and putting them in front of her face. No. I love all these that. arms you have. So do I. They don't come out often, but you inspired me. Oh, thank you. And uh, yes, this is it. Strength. Now, this might seem backward, but it's a tiny little shield, a little metal shield. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't associate this with strength, would you? It's so cute. But sometimes, the best offense is a good defense. Mm. Okay. So, mouse size shield. <laughs> <laughs> and I just. And it's got a little pin. Mm-hmm. And you can, it's like a brooch. You can like. Oh, oh I'm gonna cool. pin, pin it onto me. Yeah. Hey guys. I got more trinkets. <laughs> uh, your strength just went up by one. <gasps> so, Bertie, help us prepare for this event. How did the last mistress die? <laughs> oh, it was... It was quite an ordeal. It was three years ago. We, we don't want to be, you know, we don't want to recreate the exact same way. We want we want yours to be memorable. I hate for it to be the exact same way. We just can't help no. but put on a show. History cannot repeat itself. You seem like quite the thespians. What you say? <laughs> I'm so excited for your performance. Whether or not you do the play. Well, the last time, it was quite an ordeal. When it wasn't the same night, it was in the midst of the solstice summoning, where she brought forth, she attempted to bring forth, the great Greer Adrun. And it was then that the current creep mistress lunged, she and her followers, and took the life of the former. So she's and it, ab- it. They absor- it absorbed into her body. What, what did? The gravity? The previous creep mistress. And which is why she has two heads now. She has two heads. Yes. She'll be easy to pick out. Okay. okay. So, do, do you want to summon the Greerdrin? Do you not want to summon it? We need the Greerdrin. When was the last time he was summoned, or it was summoned? Sorry, it's three been years. Three ago. years. It's been four years. I apologize. It failed because of the assassination, and she has yet to do it. And she's you, going uh, to be on defense because she knows there will be those gunning for her. Oh, so you she's don't think worried. she's gonna do it? So, so she's he, worried that she the same thing that happened to her that she did is gonna happen to her. Mm. And you're perpetuating. Psycho violence. No, so, 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 I'm so, correcting the problem. Is it We're, supposed to come every year? And this one has failed for three years, nearly three years in a row. It can be tolerated no longer. Mm. Or once. You will be denied the boon of our career dream. Please don't let it happen again. We are withering. Can't you see our entire society? society is withering away. Look at me! I'm emaciated. You I seems used quite to be strong, so your, full. Your arms are looking quite small. Oh, that's why. That's why. I knew you were you were a more formidable opponent. Oh, you would not have beat me in my prime. I believe you. <laughs> I would have destroyed you and everything. Is Severn not in his head in, in understanding any of this? He's like... <laughs> yeah. You get no po- Like, we're so playing poker with this dude because he's going to lose. <laughs> oh, lose. oh my God, yes. You see Burry is like shaking his head to him. <laughs> well, we're already here. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not having it. I mean, well... We're already here. 
I don't know this uh, creep mistress. So, I mean, I don't got no problem killing her. And you guys, uh, if it'll keep me in my books safe. You and your uh, empty, <laughs> you're in front, and, and like just processing all this, talking to Bertie, you hardly realize that like you you have bumped into something being in front of the party. Wait to up again. Hello. Let me get a name. Birdie, what are you up to? What are you getting into now? And this, like, and you kind of like, like, look up at the massive shoulders of this thing. It's a tough defeat. It has the body of an oxen, but where the neck would be to go into a head is just flat and there's a human face on the front of this thing. So there's no neck and there's just a face. <laughs> yeah. It's like I have your missing horns. Let me show you guys my sketch. I can't wait. What is it called? And Bertie says Garost. Oh no it doesn't have horns. Garost. Oh, Garost. oh my. <laughs> oh, oh my. He has large horns that curve backwards. He looks so wise. And he's got a, a his his head is framed with hair. He's got a large beard going down. You and said Gers Walls? Garalst. Garalst. And you notice tiny little hands. Like little tiny arms are are like where they would be on a human. Okay. And, and they're like stroking the beard. <laughs> <laughs> Orb's kind of drifting back. He's getting out his sketchbook, and he's he's putting another yeah. entry in the sketchbook. It's uh, I'm looking about nine inches or so now. All right. Wow. wow, birdie, what are you getting into? You are big. And who are your friends? Please, if you would introduce yourselves. Oh, I'm Mago. I'm just one of our group of troubadours traveling to your town. You are a troubadour! Yes. Yes, we call ourselves the Troop of Shayless. The Troop of Shayless! What is Shayless? Well, what was Shayless? You'd have to listen to our act. <gasps> Will there be a performance? Well, we've already been promised to be paid. Don't Perhaps <laughs> tomorrow or the My day after. Birdie. Yes, she she bested me in a challenge. She did. I say it like magnificent. <laughs> and you are little one. Not you. He's pointing at the <laughs> Oh, I'm Mr. Peepers. Mr. Peepers. Mr. Peepers. And you my friends call me up. No, not you. Oh, Squiggles doesn't like to talk much. Squiggles. Interesting. And you. Yes. I'm Sin. Sin. I am Grost. The Oinst. Oinst? I'm, I mispronounced it. I apologize. <laughs> the Oinst. How do you spell that? O R I N S T. O R I N S T. Must have new words. Okay. Okay. And you? Now looking at you. Oh. Well, I'm a halfling. Tiny little one. <laughs> yeah. What is your name? Ord. Ord? I see you're drawing a picture of me. May I see? And you yep. present. Oh, it is a magnificent. A few notes likeness. about characteristics. Oh, 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 Fantastic I... horns, muscular physique. And you? Well, I'm Morgana. Um, I don't know what the fuck we're doing here. This is all very confusing to me. Yes, and little one. Well, I'm Reese. 
Uh, would you like a shot? <laughs> oh no. I'm afraid he's gonna run out. I can't metabolize that sort of thing. Do. Uh, Tall one. Um, what happens when a bull breeds with a demon, but the horns turn up really tiny? They call me empty. Is that your story? Yes. May I walk with you? Yes, please. Are you going to accompany us to the town? We're trying to find We're a place to We're going to Bertie's stay. house. You're going to Bertie's house? Bertie said there's a big event in two days that's not to be missed. Oh, yes, the solstice. That's very bold of you to stay with Bertie. Why, is she some sort of outcast or troublemaker? Which we're invited to... Just, why are you saying this? Well, you know it's the truth, don't you? And he turns around and starts walking with you guys. It must be because she's so seductive. I think she might be some sort of criminal or something. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the inside creatures that we've just met for the first time. <laughs> you can go for it. No, it's. I want to get to town and then try to get the lay of the land. At the very least, she's a political dissident. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that, yeah, totally. So you guys go on for another 15, 20 minutes, half an hour. And the first sights of this town uh, come into your view. The trees are very large, and they're, they're somewhere between Weeping Willows and the Oaks of Savannah here, with large, like, mossy things dripping off of them. That goddamn Spanish moss. <laughs> <laughs> Which is neither Spanish nor is it moss. <laughs> and you see these little tiny red specks, these little red dots, like, all over the boughs of these trees. And as you keep walking, it, it takes a few minutes before you see the, 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 like, you sort of get up and close to one of them. And draped from these trees, and like kind of surrounded by this dripping moss, and it's illuminating them slightly, are these little tiny, what you can best describe as like a hummingbird house. They're about this big, very larger than a basketball, and little little circular windows in them are, are glowing orange from some hearth within. And you get the little tiny scent from whatever it is they're cooking. And there's little circular doors, and as you're passing the first one and just kind of staring at it, you've never seen anything like it before, a little bing flies out of the front door with four wings and he looks I'm not that stoked about this sketch but he's a a, a, sort of a dragonfly humanoid thing it looks like <laughs> winged extraterrestrial <laughs> uh, look at him Peepers. He reminds me of those like worm guys from X Men yeah. Two. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Put a crayon over his head. I said, Mister Thames, you see it all. Why is this bus so sexy? <laughs> <laughs> it's striking a pose for us. I mean, wow. they, they're, they're dancing flies, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, he's kind of John Travolta. <laughs> <isn't he? laughs> I didn't get to the shield <laughs> and sword, <laughs> <laughs> the, the buckler. Let me uh, correct my drawing. See, they're rave sex. That's what they are. Um, yeah, and 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 draws to like you know, he, he, like in order for him to look around, he has to like physically. There's no neck. Yeah. Yeah. He can't control the camera. He like lowers his his like back oh. hides. And Bernie looks over. Oh, Tella, what are you doing? Up this late. Tella? Tella. And like, zoom, 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 zoom. And he like kind of flies up to each of your faces very quickly. And, bing, ow, 
don't like these motherfuckers. What are they doing here? He says. I show him the tentacle on the pipe. I'm like, you can be next. If you catch me, boom, boom. And Birdie, tell her, where are your manners? We have guests. They're my special guests. <laughs> well, I don't fucking like him. Okay, tell her, I want to well, say... Well, we're not your guests. Your sword, not the one you have in your hand, but the one you give Birdie, that's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, right. Wait, how do you know about my sword that I gave her? She showed me. She showed it to you. It's like super cool. Like, it's this big, but then it's like... I know, right? It's bullshit. It, like, it's, it, it fucking defies the imagination. That's awesome. How, I mean, how does that even happen? Can you guys think of the logistics that it took to pull that fucking off? No, I'm not, I'm not that smart. Like, like, can you actually use it? Because that would be like this red, this, like, that's awesome. <laughs> Check this out. And he, like, zoom, he flies down to where he is, and he, zoom, he pulls it out of her belt. And it, like, changes size. It's like, he already has one sword, and it, it, and it pulls out identical to the one he already had. Oh, terrifying. You want me to fuck you up with it? No, 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 no. Because you look like a little bitch. <laughs> I'm going to fucking stab you. Get ready. Wait a minute, did you, uh, no, 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 did you no. make that? Yeah. That's really cool. You, you can make those. I fucking made that one. I fucking made that one. Well, you, you truly are very skilled and... So skilled. Oh, s- just stop. Don't. No, seriously. Don't. Stop. Come on, keep going. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't stop. I'm, I'm Tell me more. So you made swords? I, so you, yeah, I fucking make swords. Do you, you, like, do bows, too? God damn, I can do, I can do bows. I can do swords. I can do mauls. I like the fuck you want. I think you're one of the most handsome oh, okay. individuals I've run yeah, into yeah. all week. You, you guys so... are being flattering. I think you're trying to fucking trick me. Are you casting spells on me? Shit, let me check my... No, you're... you are. I've met a lot of people here. Well, not really. But of everybody I've met, you are the most impressive. And I've definitely enjoyed my time. Goddamn talking. right I'm the most impressive. Yeah. Compared to what? Fucking birdie here? Tell her. <laughs> and, and Geralt's just... <laughs> after, after we, after we <laughs> get paid... Laughing. I might have to come see you about a weapon, cause I, I like I feel you make my weapons feel very inferior right now. So I'm like I'm gonna pour it, I'm gonna awesome. pour it Morgana. I mean, you're giving her sword envy. The rest of you are a bunch of fucks, but I like this one right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna poke Morgana, cause she's so much freaking taller than me. I'm like, could you get like a bow that you don't have a string or arrow and it's just like magic? <laughs> That'd be freaking awesome. <laughs> Will you say this to Morgana? Yeah. That would be fucking awesome. I wonder if he could make that for me. I bet he could. Yeah. I, I, I bet he could what? Oh, make a, a stringless bow. What are you talking about? Yeah, how does a fucking bow work without a string? How does yeah. a sword go from this big to that big? It's magic, man. It's you. You're the magic. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> God damn right. I mean, there's no... Well, yeah, God's damn right. <laughs> Pretty, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be a way more nothing, impressive but. mall than this. Oh, yeah, I'm picturing it now. Yeah, a mall. Yeah, I like you. I might do you a favor. You, I sense you've gotten too many fucking favors, though. Is there such a thing as too many favors? Oh, no. You're wearing more fucking jewelry than these other bitches, so. Uh, well. Oh, that's just because we've all made trades. As impressive as you are at making stuff, I am at beating people up. I could see that. I could see that. She even bested me in a contest of strength. Well, you are looking a little thin, buddy. I, I gotta say, like, what the fuck? You, uh, what's going on with you anyway? You want to die? She pulled out all eight arms and an extra arm. I mean, that's a lot of fucking arms. That was right? a lot of fucking arms. Like, she even had the second arm helping her other arm and just. But she's gonna get, <laughs> she's gonna get better though because the the when they Greyadrin s- comes in two days then she's gonna get all ripped. Well, in. the yeah. Greyadrin. To be fair, she owes us twice what she should. Twice so the normal rate. Twice the rate, but we're willing to charge single if you can help my sister. Help her with no, isn't he said a favor? Hey, I ain't doing. I ain't getting involved in her fucking dealings. But you want to deal with me? Hey, look, we I, can, I, we I can talk. Hey, hey, look. I appreciate that favor you said. Well, you, you got the me. trade. What do I have to trade? What do you got to trade? I mean, if are you are you asking me to make something for you? I. Yo, look, buddy. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, 
First of all, don't come at me like I'm some fucking chode. Look, you're with a bunch of bitches. I'm gonna yeah. kill them all. Yeah. Hey, unless hey, you hey. fucking address me correctly. First, tell her. I seize you. I seize you. Come now. I respect you. I respect <laughs> what you got going on. I like. I like. Well, I have this little thing, and it's a small knife. <laughs> oh. I'm like. Man, like, I, I, it has a lot of sentimental value. It's the first thing I stole. <laughs> oh, I feel you on that one. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, you did say you'd give me a favor, but I'll, I can trade this for you making me a, a better mall. Yeah, are there some, like, special properties in that, uh, that, that dagger? Unfortunately, I don't know. It's just, I just stole it. You stole it? Look, that's more meaningful than any magical properties, like, uh, as, as far as I'm concerned. The first thing you stole. All right. Like good juju. Give it here. You want a mall? I like malls. How big? Big. Like, real big? Like, real big. And he does this little thing, it's like, like, this big? I mean, like, real big. I pull out my mall, I'm like, I want it bigger than this. Oh, shit. Cool. <laughs> Tentacle on the end of it? No, no, no. That's, no, that's, no, that's, the, that's the pipe. That's the pipe. What's going on with that fucking thing? We killed this, uh... We call that birdie food. Birdie food? Yeah, birdie did eat the <laughs> did eat piece of it. But it's growing back. It's bird I'm food. I'm real curious about what's Wait, it regenerates? Yeah. And she ate some? Yeah. It's fucking growing in her guts right now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Now, is it going to be twins? Like, you're going to have twins? Like, I can't. Birdie, when you're ready to pass in a couple of days, <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch. I want to see what happens. I'm real curious because it, it just immediately started growing back. She said ethereal, astral, and demonic. Still can't tell me what it is. What the fuck? Right? You want a piece? That sounds like a bad scene. You want a piece? Goddamn no, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I want a mall bigger than this. All right, you got it. Come back in three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. I'll have you ready. A fucking mall. The likes of which you've never seen before. I already know. You ready for this? Uh, fuck yeah I am. All right. (laughs) I already know it's going to be impressive, so I'm already And Severin is just fucking wide-eyed. He's just hitting his pipe like... What is going on? I mean, at this point, we we just know he's a scaredy swamp, swamp folk, so, you know. It's okay. Yeah, we're in the big city now. Yeah. Are I'm you all really... sure about this? Uh, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I like killing people. All right. You guys are fine. Can, can, can I, can I, can I yourself. tap out of that situation? I, I, I don't. Oh, we didn't expect you to, to be I don't know part if I want to be involved. I mean, Severin, you did what you said you would do. And you brought us to town, and we appreciate that. We and really we do. Know you, we know I mean, you this is a stop along the way. We need to get you the fuck out of here. Well, but we, we asked the question, where, where to next, and nobody really gave an answer. Nobody did give us an answer. You brought us here. Well, I have some ideas. I'm making my list of ideas. <laughs> well, I was going to ask, do we have another background that's not a swamp that you prepared? One second. So we're buying malls for mother killers. <laughs> we're going to kill the people in charge. <laughs> We can kill demons in basically two rounds of combat. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what we're afraid of yet. So <laughs> we're good. And we're like level two now. So, yeah. We're only getting better. Hey, man. I, I think we need to get you to a capital city, the capital city nearby. Yeah. Does it yeah. have one of those gates in it? Will it take another 12 days of marching? It's not it's 12 days, but why not? I've been waiting to we, sleep for yeah, hours. <laughs> it's hey, not close. Oh. We, can't, we can't go too far, because in three weeks, I'm getting my mall. No, that's true. It's a journey, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's not close at all. Well, I don't plan on spending three weeks in this swampy town. Well, Maga, we need to get you a boot. Despite its charm, yes. I don't know if it's a local cobbler or what. 
Oh yeah, you did. You should go with you. one footed. <laughs> oh no, I get. I told. I had some extra clothes that I stole off somebody. So yeah, okay. I gave I'm you a shoe. Ranked. So you got on two. But they don't shoes. matter. This match. You got on two different shoes. I mean, collected collection. You're starting to look like Birdie. I mean, I, mean, it's just, I got the other shoe. I've got the outfits going. I mean, on what are you gonna give me for this other shoe? Um, I think I'll just keep the one for now. But perhaps we should go to sleep for the night. It is quite dark, and there are uh, perhaps dangerous battles. Now. I'm not sure if I. Uh, Do are there houses? We saw trees. One of us should in, uh, keep Well, watch. feel free to sleep outside. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to figure out what this town is. So we got giant trees, creatures living in the trees, and then birdie people. So you so. notice that, uh, like, and, and like you guys sort of continue walking into town, and, and more of these. Um, like the boughs of the trees are just filled. Like it is an entire civilization of of these little um, dragonfly things. Uh, the Gileonst. The Gileonst. The Gileonst. Uh huh. Gileonst. As Tella is is called. Um. You start to notice that each tree has sort of like a depression before it hits the, the, the root system, the base. Mm -hmm. And you look, and as you're passing one of them, you see like it, it depresses and, and the roots of the tree are like well above the ground level. Mm -hmm. So there's this kind of like gap in the middle. So the, the, the trunk sort of branches out and then kind of penetrates into this like a mangrove depression. Kind of thing? And you notice like it does the ground does slightly go up under and you see a door under where like the root ball would have been otherwise. And and this is a pattern. Some of them have multiple doors. And before you know it, Gerald says, Well, this is goodbye for now. It was very nice to meet you. You are so impressive to look at. I would like to be your friend. Done. Oh, we're not friends? I would consider you my friend. Thank if you, you need anything from me. We need a place to stay tonight. Are you not staying with Birdie? Yes, they're staying with me tonight. Oh, okay. We, we just were coming to town. We didn't know we were staying with you, Birdie. You're staying with me tonight, yes. Mm, I will be your host. So I will host you. It will be fun. Aren't you excited for the enjoyment that we're going to have in the moments ahead um, while you're staying at my house? Okay. You're at, like, a 15. I need you at, like, <laughs> I could take it down a notch, couldn't I? I get overexcitable. I'm so sorry. Do you have guests often? just be you, Bernie. I don't have you guests often. <laughs> Does it show? Are my social skills lacking? Yes. <laughs> they are. Maybe you could teach me. I think what you're planning doesn't need social skills. Probably not. Actually, if she becomes the creep, if no, if she if she gets that job, she would need some social skills. And as she opens the door, you see there's like stairs that descend, way too steep, and she steps in, and her body kind of like, like she's walking but not upright anymore. She's walking kind of like downward these stairs, like at an angle. Birdie, we can't do that. Follow me. I want to get on my butt and scoot down the stairs. <laughs> get on your butt and scoot down? <laughs> I'm going to climb down. I'm going to turn down and like... <laughs> and you notice like like gravity like shifts when you get in there and it becomes sort of parallel to the stairs a little bit. It's I'm three feet tall and I have to fall. Tall. I'm not very, you know, tall, but worry about falling down. So. And, and like... The first thing, you know... The hallway that's leading down into whatever the fuck this is that you're going is, like, you know those 70s, like, beaded, like, wind, like, fucking uh, yeah. doorways yeah. thing? 
it's kind of like that, but with like root cilia. There's just like these curtains of like roots. That, the the big thick ones that are immobile have kind of like like left a, a way to go between. Mm -hmm. But the little tiny like fungal, like, it almost makes these little meshes, and and it's like kind of. Oh, it's moist. Passing your face, <laughs> and yeah, it's a little moist and damp, and it, it's like it tickles you, and and like the the sort of wet earthy smell as you're as you're descending into Birdie's hovel. Um, it's a wonderful hovel you have. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You've seen nothing yet. Don't worry. And, like, you can't really see her. It looks like it's curved almost upside down. And you get in there, and then it, like, arcs back up, and it, like, it, it, it takes a very strange path. And then finally, like, boosh. It kind of opens up to it, it like defies the senses. It's almost a massive chasm, but you feel like claustrophobic at the same time. The space is is dark, and and the scents are intense, and there's these little orange lights all over the place, and two things strike you. One is the density of objects is more than this room mm. <clears throat> there's just shit covering every inch of wall and ceiling um, and the number of doors in this room is peculiar there are a lot of doors there's a little hearth over there with a cauldron that is bubbling and you can smell it, and the steam is escaping up some vent. And the doors are not all upright. Some of them are tilted down. Some of them are practically up on the ceiling. There's no formal vertical walls here. It's just kind of ovular. Um, and it's got a disorienting feel. Do we each get our own room? Which room would you like? That, would feel that really one I point to together. one like uh, kind of halfway between the ceiling and the floor. Uh, give me a d6. A six. Six. Okay. Oh, not that one. What's in that one? Oh, you can't go there. I'm sorry, but that one is forbidden. Oh, wait, so, so of all doors. the doors in this room, and he picks I make a the mental one note of that's that door. <laughs> I mean, there could be I mean come on, Bertie. I thought you said we were guests. You are. We're guests, not owners. Special guests. Be rude. But those must be for your special, special guests. But we can't go there yet. We can't go there yet. Uh, is there a library I can spend the night in, perhaps? Of course. What sort of establishment do you think I'm running? And she, like, reaches behind her with one of her arms and, like, opens a door. It's a tiny door. It's maybe, like, three feet tall. Halfling size, not elf size. That's right. Well, I can send in something on my behalf. And she opens the door. And you look in. And, like, the out the height of this library, like, this has to, you're, like, doing the math in your head. This has to protrude above the ground level unless it's protruding down you're kind of disoriented and it's filled with books there's an there's an upper balcony mm. with more books going up i think this should uh do for the nights thank you very much can i squeeze through the door if i crawl there's a comfortable couch in the corner there i might do a little there's bit a little candlelight and i'll be a like to indulge in some light reading. Oh, that sounds like a great night to me. Thank you for your, thank you for your hospitality. And she closes uh, Mago into one of the rooms. I'll just you know, I'll stay here. You stand right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay and here. Well, there's no resting place here. Might I take you to a room? 
And before you guys, before I hear people walk up, can I just jiggle the door handle? Just yeah, it opens. Okay. Yeah, you're not locked in or anything. Okay. You know, no, no, you know, Murray, you know, I, uh, yeah, I just, I prefer to sleep with my back up against the wall. That's, that's me. Okay. Um, at least until I'm in my own space, my own home. And, of course, and she points behind you. And, like, the room has changed. It has a little, like, cubby with a little resting bed, couch, something. Okay, I, I sleep. Right there. I just sleep. I got my the pike. <laughs> like, it's just like, ugh. I'm looking at the tentacle, like. I snuggle up to the tentacle. I'm just real curious about what's going to happen. Little body pillow now. I'm just real curious about what's going to happen with this tentacle. <laughs> and, like, you lay down in the bed, and you've got your tentacle, your, your tentacle pike there. <laughs> And, like, you're kind of starting to drift off, and the tentacle, like, reaches one of the bedposts and starts to, like, wrap around it and pull. Like, the, you feel oh. the pike, like, <laughs> like pulling through your, your grip a little bit. He's trying to crawl away. <laughs> just like... <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for me. Oh, my God. Uh, and right here. Um, so, in the main room, too, the, it's just filled with, like, knickknacks. <laughs> all kinds of knickknacks, yeah. Um, there's dolls and weapons and potion bottles and masks on every inch of the wall. There's metal springs and knitting needles. There's piles of books. There's creatures and terrariums. There's piles of rocks. There's... Nice rocks leaves uh, arranged in a particular manner. There's a thing on the wall with feathers kind of making a fan. I'm like, Brady, did you want one of these lava rocks that I got from the the demon? What demon? And what lava rock? Did she take our lava rocks? <laughs> oh, the one that we killed. We? I mean, Mostly you. And Morgana. Morgana did shoot him in the fucking face, didn't she? She's so badass. <laughs> right, I did. <laughs> you fucking know it. And then you guys hear... Uh-oh. The uh -oh. ground kind of like rumbles a little bit. Uh -oh. A few books fall off of the shelf. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? Birdie, what are you cooking? Is it rumbling? What is this uh-oh? Let me check my... Cauldron and Severance says, Oh shit. Oh, he actually came inside with us. Yeah, he's in there. He's braver than I thought. <laughs> what, do you mean, oh, shit. what is this? The, like, kind of an earthquake happens. Bing, 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 bing. A bunch of shit falls off the walls. I open the door. It was disturbing my reading. Oh, fuck. Not again. What's not again? <laughs> And something bursts for the ground. A massive creature comes into the center of the room. What the heck is that? Roll for initiative. The skulls, they do nothing. I'm not gonna laugh. Yeah, so much I for get excited. <laughs> so much for these skulls. Aww. We still haven't rested. We, we yeah. have not I'm rested. <laughs> I still got like three skull slots on this one. I rolled 17. Alright, we're going to have Morgana and uh, Reese uh, not be in combat, so I don't have to run them. Uh, but we're going to do you guys and Ooh. Birdie and Seth. Just made this battle a whole lot harder without her. Yeah, who's going to kill it? <laughs> Alright, Mago. 17. Empty. Uh, also 17. Sin. 4. And Ord. 6. And Birdie gets a 20. Wow. Nice. Severin gets a 1. <laughs> oh, God. And tracks. Burry uh, gets a 17. What does Mr. Peepers get? Mr. Peeper, he goes with you on initiative. Okay. And we, we don't have any stats for Mr. Peepers yet. No, we don't. And your mouse, who is named... I can look up just the kind of well. Squiggles? <laughs> Squiggles goes with you. All right. Uh, I don't, I don't think he can actually do much. 
Yes. And uh, the Craven Sickle. Craven Sickle? Is he going to crawl across the floor and stab somebody? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that's a cool ass name. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna go. Make me <laughs> uh, we need to roll off between Mago, empty, Mago, and board, empty. and empty. You all rolled seventeens. Three. Uh, twenty-one. Just a straight roll for. The oh, eighteen. Off. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Three. Three. Ord. I get a six. Okay. Birdie goes first. She reaches into the cauldron and she ladles out some some liquid stuff. <laughs> and she like <laughs> she pours it down her throat and she runs over the thing and like wham goes a step back. She slams it on the head. Uh, misses. She she misses so much that she trips and falls and it has emerged from a hole and whoop, she gets sucked down the hole. No, She's Bernie, out of the fight. Bernie. <laughs> uh, over to empty. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna take a step back if I can, and what the fuck is this thing called again? What does it even look a like? Craven sickle. A craven sickle. What does it look like? Does it look like that? It looks like this. Yeah, it's it's kind of a bug-like, crab-like creature with these, like, fucking, like, swords coming out of its back. And this giant, like, like tentacle squirting out of its mouth. And it's got six legs, three on each side. Do I get the impression it's craven? And it's got, uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's craven. <laughs> It's craving your flesh. And it's oh, got that's, that's <laughs> <what I'm craving. laughs> It's got six eyes, like th like kind of in a row going back, three on each side. Do, do, do. They're literally in order. D20, D4, D6, wow, D8, D10. So not the craving with D10s an E N. Right here then, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Scaredy cat. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> Favorite. Oh no, those are your percentiles. Those are the tiny ones. Yeah. Those are the D100s. Alright. So these should be what? D10s? Yep, uh, right there. D100s, D10s, we're the thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do you do? I'm just trying to think of a really, you know, witty lie to go tell this thing. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I love the hand. I'm not scared of your swords. <laughs> Um, I shouldn't be one of that. Uh, does... 21 hit? Uh, yes. By a lot. Yes. Uh, 12 damage. 12 damage. Damn. Nice. Um, and, like, as, as you're telling it, like, you're, you're sort of, like, you're you're gesturing with your hand, and you're sort of picturing its little head cavity, and the uh, oh, not the parent name. Well, that's that's a different thing. <laughs> What's the, uh, the 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 sheath that goes between your two hemispheres of your brain? Uh, the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum. Yeah, you're sort of like picturing that, and and like you you kind of like like pull its brain into in the two hemispheres, and separate its ability to. Communicate between the halves of its brain. Mm. Hopefully, we'll get it's a artsy sword. side. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Ord. That's pretty fucking. Okay. Um, really? It's only got a six. How about next? Oh, yeah, I wrote a seventeen. That's for the roll off. Six roll off. I did. You know, he wrote a six for initial. Oh, you wrote a six. My initial oh, was a six. Sorry, sorry. Severance um, next. Not. I was like, I'm at the bottom of the order. Yeah. Oh, actually, you go before Severed. Oh, seven got one. This so this thing is insectoid. It is. It is insectoid. Yeah. This will be the first time what? This will be the first time Severin's ever done something. <laughs> um. As true, he has watched this fight a lot. <laughs> does minor illusion does that count as an action? His favorite type of show. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we're just acting. <laughs> 
would my character be able to imagine like a giant bird of prey and like a screech if it was like hunting? Mm-hmm. Okay. I would like to do that. Um, do I roll for anything for that? Uh, what Good. is what what is the spell you're basing this on? Uh, this is minor illusion. So minor yeah, volume can range from whisper to a scream. It okay. can be any sound. And what are the I constraints choose? on the effects that it allows? Uh, it. Let's see. Quick question. Um, does lovely not like uh grant you like any immediate bonuses? Yes. What bonus? Besides health. Oh. Well. If you haven't taken it depends on rest. on your class. I mean, like, yeah. he says it's instantaneous, so you have to rest. Like, if I learned a new spell, I couldn't use it until... No, you could. I mean, that's where instantaneous. If you have a... If you have yeah. a spell slot to do yeah, it. Yeah, your health goes up immediately. I, I will say spells, though, you got to wait till the next day before you get to, like, okay. learn those spells. Although, depending on the class. A wizard, for sure, because mm-hmm. you need to, like, study and memorize it. A sorcerer... It's instantaneous, you are making Yeah, you can, like, it's because it's wells from within. I would say a patron, yeah, you can call on your warlock patron to, uh, who's, who's your uh, patron again? It's, uh, Moloch. Moloch. You could call on Moloch to grant you the goodness. Um, yeah, so, it, here's the thing, and then it, you can sucks. spend an action to investigate whether that thing is real, real or not. Okay. So, my spell search. so yeah, you, basically you like. Actually, you, I guess not a bird, but let's say like a giant burrowing creature searching for insects. What a mole? Yeah, whatever. Like, it's kind of a giant burrowing creature. Well, like, uh, something that might eat it. I would imagine okay. it's like a giant anteater or a giant badger or something. So else. another giant cr- uh, creature like, <laughs> like emerges from, the, and you guys all see this, uh, and it turns around. I don't think you can move. I just went to the sound of something digging. And then it and then it faces you guys again, and you can see it kind of like present itself, like it's trying to do some reproduction stuff. <laughs> 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 it works every time. And it's waiting for that D. <laughs> uh, oh Severin's up, and he he kind of like pats Burry on the head. It's gonna be all right. And he. And he pulls out two like sabers, mm. and he fucking leaps at this thing. A nineteen, that's a hit. Nice. And a miss. That is cocked. He hits it for five damage. So empty gets two new Eldric invocations when he levels up. Mm-hmm. Nice. Automatically. Yeah. Um, just helpful for the the pointed lies. (laughs) So I finally have a modifier to add to the spell cast. The creature, um, it it is it is like backing its ass up, and and not finding that D. So it's gonna use this action to try to like figure out what's going on right now. I love it. Uh, over to Ord and then Sin. Do we do empty already? Yeah. Ord and Sin. Come on, peel the part as corpus colos. Um, Ward is going to try to do mind spike on him. Okay. So he needs to make an intelligence saving throw. We're just all getting in on that Fail. brain. What's the, D- what's the spell save DC? Uh, spell save DC is 14. Yeah, it's fail. He takes 6 damage. That's the Ooh. max it can do. And... Uh, it's psychic damage, and then mm-hmm. any saving throw he makes before I, it's my turn again, um, he takes a d4 subtraction. Any any what he takes before? If he has to do any saving throw from here until my next turn, Got he has it. a d4 subtraction. So, so that he, splitting headache that he that empty started. Yeah, I'm just gonna poke around in there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Open. So, so yours takes kind of a, a physical form of, of mental damage. <laughs> Emotional damage. Emotional <laughs> damage! <laughs> so, like, you, like, and like, like you're flicking around a switchblade. These, these little black shards are just kind of, like, spinning in your hand. And then you kind of flow, throw them up in the air, and they arc out. And they, like, 
like right between each of his pairs of three different pairs of eyes they get in there and you see the middle one like like kind of press left and the other two press right and like you literally like split his head open and you see through the center of his brain empty since you're in front of him and you're like looking at brain areas and he's he's like still kind of thrashing around and mad it's fucking so so and then be a perfect brain. spot to insert Maul right there. <laughs> <laughs> do surgery you made a mall now. <laughs> All right, Sam, you're All up. All right, I'm going to do my best. The neurosurgeon. Nope, because that's a seven. And I'm going to action surge and try to hit him again. Thirteen? Uh, that is exactly what you need to do. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. And, uh, let's see. Three, seven, ten piercing damage. Ten piercing damage. All right, you. So let's okay, do, do the math. Because I've done thirty-three points of damage so far. Um, you come down, yeah, on that fucking cleft open like cavity of a head. <laughs> And you just pound it, like, right above where the mind spikes hit it. And you see the, the head, like, bifurcate into two. Like, up to its fucking neck. Uh, its skull is kind of shattered in. And you see, like, the, the six eyes, like, like blinking at you. And it's still not dead. It's still coming at oh, you. Oh, this thing's tough. Um, back to Empty. Just blast it. Yes, <laughs> it works every time. Well, it's the warlock's best friend. Mm, yeah. It is, but. What is it called? Something wise? Whispered lies. Is my, you know, this is my one opportunity to bring out a terrible humor. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do it. I'm here for it. I call this one a bad joke. I smile at it and I throw my hands up and I try to make it laugh. So, you know, <laughs> for the purpose of this, it's uh, equivalent to Tasha's hideous laughter. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll come up with more better bad jokes in the laugh. future. But. I just learned I could use this, so... Yeah. Here we are. Does it have an intelligence score of four? It has an intelligence score of more than four, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, then we're good to go. So that has a penalty on the save. Whatever's going to try to save. Yeah, uh, 14, I believe. Yes. This is 16. A wisdom saving throw. Or actually, is it my charisma modifier, or is it what the save is listed as. Uh, well, wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC. Against my spell save DC. Yeah, what's that? Which is proficiency plus main modifier plus 10, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right next uh, that would be 17. Uh, which Ooh. is exactly what I rolled. Nice. But, minus is 1. It minus is 1? Yep. With so your... fails. Because, it, because I did the mind spike. Nice, nice, fuck yeah. Just enough. Um, Must have twisted a few neurons. Like, you, you see it's like wiring getting confused between like, it's it's like little weird maw is trying to open into laughter, but its head ends up like doing it sideways as well. And like, <coughs> it ends up like pulling itself into, up through its neck, like up through its spine and like, <coughs> this fucking bitch just tears itself into two hemispheres of body. <laughs> so is the, is the hole still open that Birdie got sucked into? Yeah, it falls through and you hear her go, Oh, shit, what a goddamn... Birdie, fell, fell Birdie quit lollygagging. You missed my comedy routine. And you see her pull herself up. These fucking infestations. I just reached down with two hands. I'm like, come on. 
<laughs> and she like she like kind of does a flip over you and kind of lands, and she like checks all of her gear because it like settled a little abruptly. What the fuck is that? And where did you go? Well, I fell through the hole. I, I apologize. I got knocked out. I I hit my head. Am I bleeding? And she is bleeding on the back of her head. Like just, poor eh, thing. just a little bit. Reese can do uh, healing. These fucking here. craven sickles, their goddamn infestation. So that's just going to be something that's so going to be popping up? Is this the forest creature that comes mm-hmm. up? or is it That had kind nothing of... to do with us. No, nothing to do with you. It's, oh. It's a problem. We've been trying to solve. Which is why we need to unseat this bitch. Uh, mm. Like an oh, exterminator. That's uh, a... <laughs> <laughs> <it's like> a... <laughs> okay. And do you mind if I peruse through the books? Have any particular things of note to read? Oh, there are so many wonderful tomes. Would you like to know more? I would. Uh, where's the section for spells and magical information? Oh, spells and magical information. That is on the top level. Uh, you'll have to, I mean, look for the runes. Thank you. Do you go up there and search? Yes, I do. Give me an investigation check. DC 15, if you succeed, you get to add one spell to your spell book of first level. I just have to roll. I have to roll good. <laughs> uh, 12 plus, that's investigation. It's close. Investigation. Plus six, I'm so I have All right. 18. All right. Yeah, 18. Uh, I'm going to randomize this. Okay, Ooh. so do I, I overhear this, and this is piques my my interest. Do you little, investigate as well? Yes, my little three foot tall interest here. All right, not Hit this one. I found it first. Investigation Whoa. check DC fifteen. So investigation okay. or Arcana, your choice. Take your choice. Um, they're both plus six. So if they're creeping around, I'm going to see if I can kind of slip through door six. Oh, the one you're not supposed to go through. So, mm-hmm. Unless she says we're not no. supposed to go through. I got one more thing. Okay. <laughs> you, you just get so distracted with all the interesting books, you forget to like look for the ones that you're trying to get mm-hmm. to. Alright, where's the goddamn spell area? Okay, right here. Alright, Wizard Spells, level one. I will, I'll tell you if I already have it. And do you have to roll? I forget, do you have to roll to see if you. No, the, this the, is OD&D. Yeah, this is. We're not ODing any anymore. Um, if you roll one that you already have, then you may re-roll. If you roll one that he already has, you don't get a re-roll. So, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, you can just choose one completely at random on Final Fantasy. So we would get off something useless. Amused. Mildly amused. Give me a, a d20 plus a d10 minus one. So one you could never roll thirty. And let's call that a fifty. Uh, one plus five, minus one. Was it? What? So five. Five. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Color spray. Color spray. Probably don't have that. That's it. a good one. Oh. Do you have that? No, I do not. You just added it to your spell book. Spray color. Like spray spray. That'll work better than the water. It's a good for graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So you go through the the, uh, the 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 one the door you're not supposed to go through. Well, birdies, yeah, tending to her uh, head wound. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me a stealth check. Oh. Are, do you, are you trying to be stealthy about it? Yeah, of course I okay. try to be stealthy about it. I'm fairly stealthy. DC about twelve. It. Uh, I do pass that with uh, nineteen. Mm-hmm. All right, she's a little concussed. Uh, and it, it's, an, it's an upward door, and like you flip it, and it almost like like falls down on you, and like, like you try to be really quiet about it, and you hear it start to squeak slightly, and you brace it, and you gently let it down, and you kind of climb up in there. Do you close the door behind you? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll get to what you see in a moment. What's what's everyone else doing? I just saw my sister go in that room. I'm just like, 
I just want to stand close by just just in case she needs me. But I'm gonna keep an eye on Birdie. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna come back out and ask Birdie uh, what you cooking because clearly it's been cooking a long time because it was on fire when you were not here, which is also really cool. So what's for dinner? Oh. Please pull up a chair. And there wasn't a table in the middle of this room, but now there is. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a it's a stew. It's an, a very interesting stew with little tentacle bits and tiny mammals and and eating an eye. It's delicious. This is an ancient family recipe. You will love it. Come on, Severin. And like, she just gives you this little wooden bowl. Oh, I've had this before. It's very good. Okay. And he takes his, and he takes one for Burry, and they're just okay. like, blah, blah, blah. they're just going, they're, they're, Starting they're feral on it. He's just like, basically eating in like two days, so. Yeah, you guys are all very hungry. Do you, do you guys come out for dinner as well? I'm going to take a break from reading the book, and yeah, I come out and smell it. And, but you're not there? No. Do you do this after the, the meal, or you're already gone? Uh, I have rations. Uh, I'm going to give her a perception check to see if she notices that you're not there. And I rolled a five, so she does not. Wow. Uh, she's oblivious. Um, she's not used to all your faces yet. Uh, Sin, are you having some? I'll try it. We all look okay. alike. Uh, everyone who ate some gave me a that that has taken damage. Give me a D4. Okay. A D4? Taken damage yet. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't. It's been... We haven't taken a rest, so I still have damage from the other day. But one. You get one hit point back. Oh! It is a hearty, surprisingly tasty meal. Like, some of the textures are weird and surprising, uh, but it's it's yummy. Like, the flavor is kind of, you know, what you spice it with. But it's got a little hotness to it. Mm-hmm. And... Like you, you feel your nose start to like do that thing when you have wasabi where it's like it's a little, a little, little too hot, mm-hmm. but like it, it just comes up to it, but doesn't like make you start like tearing up or anything. Um, but this is delicious. Thank yeah, you. It's really good. It's really good, wow, Bernie. Bernie, this tastes way better than, I mean, than Bernie, it looks. Do you cook? As your is that your day job? Do you cook? It's a hobby of mine. Well, a, I mean, I can tell you from a, a restaurant. Hobby. I mean, Bert, Bertie, I, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I think you should, like, open your own place here. This is really good. This is really, really good. Oh, what a compliment. Thank you. I could probably pack some for you to go. That would be great. Yeah, that would be mean, awesome. I, mean, I think this is your calling, not, you know. You're too flat. Political takeovers, but, you know, you can... You have an empire of restaurants here. I, I go there, like, seriously. And you see Severin, like, he, he just, like, he pounded this bowl of soup. And he had her pour another one, and he just devastated that one, too. And you see him at the table, and his eyes kind of, like, start rolling back into his head. Going to the food coma? Did you and he just, like, falls over <laughs> unconscious. Is there alcohol in Do this? Do I get the impression it's from the food? You're not sure. Uh, give an insight check. Doing How's Burry doing? Burry's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it takes a little, a little longer to like get through it. Uh, 22. He 22. Says, 22? Um, from, from your tasting of it it's, itself... You you don't notice like any alcohol or like weird substance in there. Um, Maybe he's just tired. I think he's just a little overwhelmed and tired. And, I mean, dude's been on the stress full. and made her like nineteen. Yeah. yeah. What'd you roll? For me, I had rolled like a a nine. Okay. <laughs> and I'm just like, thank you, Birdie. This was good. I even like. I dipped the tentacle in it. <laughs> did you eat some of the tentacle off? Huh? Did you, you, did you bite some of the tentacle off? <laughs> no. Oh, you, like a chest burst or oh, you just dipped some of the tentacle that was already in there. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I'm getting sleepy myself. Shall we see you all to your quarters? I go right back to my little couch in the living room. Yeah, I'm going to call it Thank you for the delicious meal. You're good. Meal. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna give her one more roll to see if she notices. Oh, I got a twenty. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's empty? I think he he left to go find a bathroom. His stomach was growling early today, so. We'll see about that. And that's where we'll pick up uh, next week. Getting you sweet, okay. sweet, sweet XP for this. Yes. Craven sickle. <laughs> Craven sickle. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get you guys sweet XP for that. Uh, we're gonna call that a CR mini do. So that is going to be... I wish I end up flattering everyone we meet. <laughs> like, you are so <laughs> handsome and talented. Hey. You're so good at what you do. It fucking... First of all, that's really impressive. Like... When Birdie touched it, it was a really big sword. I have when idea. he did it, it was a it was a small sword. It adjusted to his size. That's very impressive. That's cool. So we could pay him to enchant like an apple and then feed an apple to the mistress and then have it grow when it's in her throat and explode her head off. I don't know how long that's gonna take him to do because Yeah, probably take hundred and twelve XP each. Wow, nice. What other extra cool stuff happened? Uh, I I really dug the uh, the corpus callosum brain severing. That was cool. We get an extra fifty for that. I'm impressed. Remember the end for that. That was for you. Uh, I like the shards and the fucking mall hits. Those were extra good. <laughs> extra twenty five for each of those. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see. You got your you got your uh, oh, said, marble back. I did get my marble and the back. arm wrestle. Oh, now. I did. Got your marble back. Fifty. We'll give a, uh, an extra seventy-five for the arm wrestle. Oh, nice. That was good. Mm-hmm. Okay, hang on. Clearly, I'm doing this backwards here. It's because I'm not listen, totally manipulating listen, my does sister. Does a does a. <laughs> well, I mean, you did extra pay. twenty-five for the sneak out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute, did I make friends with uh, Tall? Or Thrall? What's his name? Tella. The Tella? <laughs> and then, was it yes, Drolls? Yes, we'll give an extra 50 for that. That was cool. Drolls, the ox thing. Garolst. I would love to see how we're all spelling these things because uh, I guarantee you it's different. I tried, I tried to spell Garolst almost like Geralt from The oh. Witcher, just with an S. Instead oh, of I would. That's pretty G E R Z A L T. G E R A L S T. That's how I spelled it. Phonetically. <laughs> I'm just hitting you guys with all the names and phrases. <laughs> it's like about a new character. <laughs> Looks like the ramblings of a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yay! I leveled up. Oh, you did again? You're level three? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Because I, I did the, 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 the write ups. The write ups. Yeah, nice. Kick ass. It's nice to add a little flavor to the world, you know. Creating, writing, paid off. It's I I it like needs that. Needs to be an undo button on the character thing. So yeah. I screwed up my XP. Oh no. Did she get a new tattoo, DJ? I did. Yep. That's the, the, uh, you got a very specific tattoo. sunburn. I got <laughs> like I gotta get the goo off it. Save the good life. Oh um, no. Yeah. Uh, the story with that is my wife and I. When I asked her to be my girlfriend, I took her on a little weekend to Santa Barbara when we lived in L.A. We stayed at this hotel called Bacara. Mm-hmm. And we, and I had designed a necklace for her. Aww. She's a Gemini. Of course she is. And I don't fucking believe in any of, the, <laughs> of that stuff. But she does. So that was my sort of gesture to like... Just hey, we I all have birth signs, you know. <laughs> yeah. so Whether I, you like it or not. I did a drawing of these t- sort of twin beings intertwined. Aww. And then I put a little tiny diamond in the heart of one of them and the head of the other. And my neighbor was a jeweler, and so she sculpted it and had it made and Dang. turned it into a necklace. And I asked her to be my girlfriend. Aww. She accepted. <laughs> And then uh, we went to dinner that night, 
and at a French restaurant called Bouchon. Bouchon. And it's very good. And then we remember the sommelier. He sir, he recommended a bottle of wine, and we bought it, and he poured it for us. And as he walked away, he said, "Say with a good life." Aww, I like and it. We just remember that, like, ever since, and like, whenever we're out doing something nice, like, we'll say that to each other, like, ever since. And so, yeah, now we're, this is our 12 years after we became Laura Fine Girlfriend. We, got, we both got a tattoo. That's so cute, and, DJ. And she, she, she uh, Instagrammed or something and tagged the restaurant. And the sommelier still works there. Nice. Wow. <laughs> still savoring and, that good life. And he wrote something like, he's like, yes, after 12 years, I still savoring the good life. Mm. So that's pretty cool. I love that. That's so sweet. Yeah. It's a good story. All right, I wrote a one <laughs> for my HP. <laughs> oh, no. And now. Uh, Color space. Yeah. Yeah. Like if, if, you, if you roll it, you got to take it. Yeah. yeah. No, I was showing you that. You I did take the median. One. I appreciate yeah. the honesty. Mm-hmm. That's the only way to not, do it. Not everybody does that. <laughs> so you take the medias in your own way. Mm-hmm. 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 No. I got to start building a collection in, like you. Like for a D10, she could take a six or just a roll. Those are the. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, so. I the feel like we're, the like we're all the, here to roll. Uh-huh. You're right? Like that's. It's a bummer when a fighter does that, though, because it's like, you got one job, and like, oh, and then you're like under HP. Forever. Mm, I know. Fuck. I oh well. You get plus one strength quick. tonight. Yeah. Huh? You get plus, plus one strength. strength. I did. My That's strength sweet. is a seventeen now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Thanks everybody that's not watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll post this on YouTube. We're actually getting some viewers on YouTube. I think uh, our first episode has 87 or something. Nice. I watched it. I need to see it to my My wife is watching because she wants to make sure that I'm here. Yeah, there you go. All right, until next time, you guys. Yeah. with the boys. She's watching with the boys here. Yeah. Yeah.